everybody, my name is Silver Valkyrie, and welcome back to Skyrim. So, uh, you may notice we're in a different location. Uh, oh, there's, they're coming. Um, okay. Welcome to the Bee and Okay, Bar, thanks. Thank Back end interest no. In one of our special no. Shh. <laughs> Uh, yeah, anyway, you may notice we are back in Riften, and that is because I had to record the entire first part again, because, uh, Inigo glitched out because I took some potions off him, basically. Um, so I went back, got Inigo again, um, and, uh, yeah, I didn't take anything, and now he has a horse, so that's good. Because in the last, in the, 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 the recording I did before, um, I, I could not get him to ride a horse. I went and got my own horse, but Anigo just would not ride it. So this time I got him his own horse first, and now he's riding his horse, which is great. So, um, as you can see from the bottom, I've also installed a knees mod. I know I said that I wouldn't, but I kind of wanted to for, you know, RP, I guess. Um, so we are tired. <laughs> You've got the coin, you're welcome. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Thank you. Let's um, save that appetite. Hmm? And I don't... What is that? What is that? What is Surly Brothers Wine? I don't know what that is. Uh, I was actually hoping you might have had a water skin, but I think I may have to go to the... Uh, I may have to go to the general store for that. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Thanks. I know it's only eight... 8.30 a.m., but I am tired. Uh, because <laughs> I just installed the mod. Um, excuse me for a sec, Kirawa. For work? I need someone to deliver a message to this is what we're going to do today. We're going to do the Promises to ah, Keep quest. Well, I recently approached Sibby Blackbriar about buying Frost, one of the finest breeding horses in Skyrim. He agreed to sell. I paid Sibby half the cost of Frost up front, but before he could deliver, Maven had him locked up. Sibby believes this exempts him from our deal. It does not. I want you to talk to Sibby for me. Then I want you to bring me Frost and the lineage papers that prove the horse is worth. Uh, sounds easy enough. Ah, you're a smart woman. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. Head to the Riften Jail and talk to Sibby. Get him to tell you where Frost and his lineage papers are and bring them to me outside Riften. Sure. Go on then. Deliver my message to Sibby. Okay. Calm yourself. I'll yeah. You What's your tomorrow. problem? I'm having a sleep first. Is this my bed? Yeah, okay. Let's just sleep for 24 hours. We're going to wake up hungry and thirsty, but at least we won't be tired. There we go. So now we are very hungry and very tired. <laughs> But that's fine, because we have a water skin. Uh, I'll go refill it, and we can have some wine. Um, and we can just have, like, a, a whole bunch of cheese. There we go. There. Now we're done. So, let's... G uh, this isn't where I want to be. <laughs> Let's head to the Riften Jail and speak to Sibby Blackbriar. Oh, but before we do that, uh, I'm just going to configure Frostfold. Um, I'll like cut all this out because you don't need to watch Frostfold being configured. And we're naked again. <laughs> uh... Okay. There we go. So, Frostfall is enabled. Um, I want to find... I want to go to the general shop quickly and see if I can buy another war skin. That is the Black Bar Meadery. Oh, what? I'm not judging you. What the frick do you mean? That's a very nice gold ship you have over there. Welcome to the park. Trinkets, odds and ends. Okay. Sort of uh, I have a bunch of like rando jewelry to sell, so I'll just sell you all that and like there's stuff that I'm not gonna wear. And I can have that, that, that. I'm gonna wear this, that, that, that. 
Okay. Anything else we could sell? Oh, and plate, but I didn't guess anything. But that's fine. Okay, what do you have? Uh, a tent? I mean... Okay, you do have more water skins, so... Let's have three of them. And we should be okay. Uh... Some spells, nah. Goat cheese wheel. Potions. I mean, you have a backpack, which should be helpful, but it's kind of expensive. Do you have an, a bug lantern? Yeah, I can't. Uh, I can't afford that. I uh, have travel cloak, maybe. Uh, okay, this is what we want. Travel lantern. I'll buy two, and then Anigo can have one. And then... Maybe I'll grab a cloak. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Thanks. All right, then. Okay. I help you, my uh, friend. No, no, no. Do you want something or not? Yes, Inigo. Mr. Dragonfly would like to take a moment to remind you that he is invaluable and irreplaceable. I'm well aware he's very irreplaceable. Okay, let us see what we Don't have. Don't worry. Um, okay, I would like to give you uh, a lantern. So you can have one of those. And then I'll have one of these, that, and I'll put that too. Okay, there we go. Yay, good job. What's next? Now we both have lanterns on. Uh, I do want to just configure where front right. Where's mine? Okay, mine's on the back. I don't want it on my. If you're not going. On my back, I would like it on the front right. <laughs> there we go. Now we have a lantern on our front too, which is good. All right, so let's head back to the bee and barb quickly. We feel our war skins. Refill our water skins. Be careful. Oh, I didn't even touch you. I have just gone the most roundabout way to get back to the beam bar. Can I talk to you? Huh? Oh no, I didn't. I owe a okay. great deal yeah, of money. Yeah, great deal of money. I, I was able to work out a deal with the stables in White Run to sell me some of their tack and harness. Uh -huh. I borrowed some gold. Yeah, borrow gold from Sapphire. sapphire yeah, I'll will, I'll have a chat to oh, Sapphire at some you. point. Be careful with Sapphire. Uh, hi, Sapphire. Yeah. What's your problem? Uh, you fancy talking about old Shadder's debt? I knew that so stupid kid Shatter, was trying Shatter. to find a way to weasel a lot of his debt. Um, Look, this is really simple. I lent him some gold. Yeah. He promised to pay me back, and now he says he's broke. End of story. It's a setup. I don't care. A deal's a deal. Well, all right then. <laughs> all right then. Sorry, Shadder. Uh, Shadder, whatever your name is. Kirava. If you've got the coin, you'll uh, can you refill oh, my water, please? Course. Thank you very much. There we go. Now we have three full water skins, which is again. great. I am in your way. I am it's sorry. okay, Carjo. Right, yeah. Rift in jail. What's your problem? You've already been there once. Uh, that's not that. That's the Temple of Mara. Here we go, Rift in Jail. Hopefully they don't stop us from going in again. That would suck. I'll find you a cloak too, an ego, uh when I can. Hello, Welcome sir. To Rifted, of ah yeah, you are just gonna let me straight so in. Okay, thank you. I wonder. They're just dogs. Vermin. Maybe is there the anything I can like have? And then, oh, hello, sir. Never mind. <laughs> All right, Sibby Blackfire. This must be you. I take it. Well, well, aren't you a sight for sore eyes? I've always got time for lovely ladies. You are a creep. <laughs> have you come to gawk at me, or is this a social call? Why are you in jail? Look, we all have our flaws. Mine is that women can't get enough. I find that hard to believe. 
So I had this little affair going on while I was betrothed to a beautiful girl named Stiddy. Well, she finds out and she tells her brother Wolfer that her brother attacks me with a knife. I, I mean, I had to defend myself. So you got arrested for his murder? Exactly. Now I have to stare at these bars for eight months. Can you believe it? I was about to let that wench marry into the richest family in Ripton. And this is how she repays me. I'd do anything to have that whore's head on a platter. All I need to know is where she is. Um, I mean, I'll help you find her, but I don't... I don't want to kill her. Ah, that's the spirit. Find her and I promise you'll be well compensated. Maybe I can side with the girl? Because I've never done this. I didn't know that this was like an option that you could do. So maybe you can like side with the girl. Which would be good. Um. Uh, yeah, you're serving only eight months for murder. Your mother thought I should be taught a lesson for airing the family's dirty laundry in public. I mean, I've taken care of many people for her in the past. What in oblivion did she expect me to do? Ah, well, at least I have all the comforts of home during my stay. Well, except the touch of a woman, of course. Ew. Anyway, I was sent by Louis the Trush. Ah, and let me guess. He wants his horse. Well, that's going to be a bit of a problem. You see, I don't really outright own Frost. Oh, are you okay, Nigo? You don't own the horse you already sold. That is correct. You see, Frost belongs to the Blackbriar estate. Technically, everything in the estate is owned by my mother, Maven. My plan was to take the horse from our lodge and deliver it to Latrush at the stables. Obviously, that didn't exactly work out as I'd planned. Obviously. Still, I don't want to cross Latrush. Tell you what. Steal the horse and deliver it. And you can have the second half of the payment. Uh, you know, I bet Maven would pay me even more for this info. Nice try. Ah, but shit. my mother's already got <laughs> me in jail. Maybe you should try that one on Latrush. That sounds acceptable, I suppose. I think we're done talking. See, last time in the previous recording that I had done where we did where I did this. Well, I, well shut up, I don't want to hear you, your creepy you boy your creepy noise. Um he, I pass. I actually passed the persuade check, and he gave me a key where I could get a whole bunch of stuff. Um, and I guess he didn't want to let me pass the the skill check this time. So, I guess no, no loot for us. It was only like, can I have this? Thanks. <laughs> I think the Rift and Cloak is a unique one. All right. So, let's see then. So, here is the Blackbriar Lodge. This is where we have to go. Not too far away. Uh, luckily, An Inigo gets to ride there, but I don't. So, <laughs> uh, uh, actually, I want to have a little, uh, little look-see. Just to see where this Sfiddy is. Oh, there's no marker on the map. Interesting. That is interesting, actually. Yeah, there's no map marker that I'm seeing, right? God, please tell me she's not, like, dead already. That would be... Maybe she's in, like, Solstheim or something? But why, why, why would she be? Hmm, that is interesting. Maybe we'll have to talk to him again. Uh, actually, screw it. We'll go talk to him again now. And we'll just ask him about uh, any information on her because otherwise, how are we supposed to know? Hi, me again. Have you come to gawk at me or is this a social? Ah, finally. Um, Someone besides the stupid guards to talk to. Do you have any information? She was a young woman, buxom, with long flowing black hair. She used to sing the most lovely songs to me when we were courting. I never heard a voice so beautiful. All that talent will go to waste when I'm. Well, we'll see about that, Sibby, to be honest. 
So, okay. I mean, if they've been already threw you in jail, why steal her horse? I'm not stealing anything. Besides, some jail time isn't going to make me roll over and play dead. Okay. When I find that bitch, I'm going to wring her little neck. Yeah, we'll see about that, Sibby. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. Right, let's go and do this bloody quest then. And while we're over there... Uh, hang on, what am I doing? And while we're over there, there is the uh, Broken Helm Hollow is also in that direction. Um, so, we will do that also. Right, let's head out then. I could really do with some, like, actual armor, maybe. <laughs> uh, but I don't really... Oh my god, stop talking all at once, please. No one wants to do that, Brynjolf. Alright, let's head out then. Inigo, you well, you'll get to meet Inigo's horse. It I think it is a Riften horse, I believe, that he has. Yeah, here he is. This is our tax. Let me guess. Uh, up he goes. Sweet yeah, there you go. Yeah, you happy up there, Inigo? <laughs> oh, we're walking. Look at that. Oh shit. <laughs> I love it here. Yeah, I bet you do. Right. Oops. Right, so. Um, I need to. No, because I've just. I've just changed that. What the fuck? Um. All right, so we have to just head in straight in this direction, and maybe we'll do the black the black briar lodge first. Uh. So now that I've enabled in, enabled Frostfall, I am gonna have to remind myself to keep to make sure that I have firewood in my inventory, because otherwise we're not gonna be able to make fires and we're not gonna be able to warm up. Uh, so I believe that little house on the comp random horse. Oh. Oh, hey! Armor! Handy! It's fur armor also. Oh, I haven't even... Oh, God, I'm not far back, but I haven't even, like, favorited anything yet. Uh, we'll favorite the... We'll favorite the longbow, actually, because the hunting bow has the slowest fire rate in the game. Uh, so let's equip the armor and the shoes. That's good. Uh, we can give uh, Inigo a cloak. Something on your mind? Go ahead, ask away. Um. No, I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to ask you anything. Mm. I need to trade some stuff with you. You want me to lighten your load? No, I want to give you a cloak, Inigo. There you are. Now you have a cloak. Isn't that fun? Come on then. So yeah, this is going to be like Legacy of the Dragonborn plus trying not to not to die. Going up to High Hrothgar is going to be absolute hell. <laughs> With Frostfall on, it's going to be absolute hell if we don't have uh, if we don't have firewood with us to make a fire. 
Uh, trust me, I've been there before. Uh, I did a stream a while back with Frostfall enabled, and um, yeah, it was it was not fun. Whoa, Artax. Good work. So uh, okay, um, I also want to uh, favorite some magic. We'll get prey. Uh, flames. Healing. Ancestor's Wrath as well. I've never played as a Dark Elf, so I'll be interested to see the the Flame Cloak kind of thing that goes on. So, uh, I think that's it. Your favorites? Yeah, okay. So let's put that in. And that's Inigo. Oh, Inigo, you should be able to climb this hill, no problem. You have a horse. I'm sure there was a better way to get up here. Ooh, but we have like an, an advantage point now. Yeah, there's Frost. So, she's a bit extra. He's a bit extra. Frost is a boy, I discovered. Um, <laughs> I know. It's literally like a Frost horse, but I wanted him to be cool, so. Do you reckon I can make it? Can you go? You reckon? No, absolutely fucking not. Oh, come on. Oh, really? I have 600 arrows. Where did I get them from? Oh, there's wolves down there. Hey. Wow, I'm the worst shot in the world. Oh my god. Oh my god, Frost is attacking the ho the dogs. Oh my god, Frost, don't don't run away, please. Ha, I got one. Are you you better not be attacking Frost. If you're attacking Frost, I will have something to say about it. What are you doing? Oh, you're looking for me. Interesting. Hello. Oops. Time to end this little game. Yeah. Oh. Wait, and you get. Oh, I don't know where Anigo has gone. But we can now take these guys' steel plate armor, which is much better. Oh, it's much better than ours. Hi, Frost. Where has Nigo gone? Oh, there he is. <laughs> Nigo had to go the long way. Oh my god. Are you okay, buddy? <laughs> Doing some, some sick tricks. Hi, Frost. I did have, like, another mod where, like, it gave Frost, like, this cool, um, like, armor and it was, like, full on, like, you know, cool. But, um,. I decided to get rid of it because it made him look a bit too it's a bit too much, you know what I mean? Where's the other where's the other man? You guys. There you are. Uh I'm running out of room already. Uh, I don't really want your war hammer, so Oh, but I just took it anyway, I guess. Oh, and we leveled up as well. I always forget to level up. That's something you'll uh, you'll notice about me is I always forget to level up when I can. So, let's do it now. Uh, let's do health, maybe. And... So, I don't know if I told you before, but I think... Uh, pickpocket is something we need to get up quickly, I believe. Um, I'll, I'll double check on that, and then we can, we can work on that uh, ASAP. But I'm pretty sure that you need pickpocket early. Because there are some things for the museum that you can't get unless you pickpocket them, I believe. But don't quote me on that. I will double check. Um, do you know what? Let's grab these wolf pelts. Why not? We can turn them into leather or sell them. Come on then. An ego. I was going to call him Carjo then. You ready? Look at us now, look. I've got like full on steel plate armor. No helmet yet, but I'm kind of glad because um, 
kind of glad because I don't. Um, my character goes bold when she wears a helmet, so that's fun. Right, Amiga, what are you doing down there? Oh, where's your weapon? Why? Oh my god, Amiga, why are you in the floor? What the? Oh, there he goes. Why do none of you have weapons? Oh, you have a weapon. Yeah, eat shit. This is what we were born to do. Depressing. Why is that depressing, Amigo? He was just in the floor for a little while then. Uh, skill short shards. It's only worth six. We can take it. I'll take a set of hide bracers. I don't want to be carrying, like, everybody's things. And because we have a, another mod that makes money weigh things. So money has a weight now, which is a problem. But, um, oh. There's a, uh, there's also, um, a second mod that I installed, which is called Exchange Currency. Which basically means <laughs> that I can exchange, uh, my, like, coin septums for um for like notes that don't weigh anything and then i can just like redeem them for actual money when i when i need to uh i'll steal all this cheese and bread because we're gonna need it <laughs> right let's go across see what's in here uh this is the this will be Maven's bedroom, I assume. Or no, not Maven's bedroom, because Maven doesn't live here. You never see her come here. Uh, this is a plate from the Elder Scrolls Battle Spire. No, well, that is, but it's for the museum, so we shall take it. This is a skill book, I believe. Yep. Uh, anything else? Oh, of course, we'll take that. We might as well. <laughs> come on, ego. Uh, and then we'll check some of the rooms downstairs as well. Okay, that's where we came in. And then there's this room and then this room in here. Um, whoa, what the hell? Empty skooma bottles. We'll take the actual skooma though. Another skill book. Another sneak skill book. That's interesting. Two sneak skill books in one, like, house. Um, no, put it away, put it away. You don't need that. You don't need it. You don't need it. Mm. There we go. Just three. I have a few lock picks if you need more, my friend. Thanks, Inigo. Oh, that's me. I'm getting a little bit, a little bit thirsty. Um. Okay, there we go. We can easily fix that. I haven't set the difficulty for the um, for the food things to be super high, just because otherwise the entire let's play is just going to be me eating and drinking all the time. So I haven't set it to be super high. Uh, I don't think there's anything else in there, was there? No. Uh, there is a whole bunch of food which we might take is there any like of the weird cheeses here grilled leeks we'll take why not uh, okay kettle uh, i believe frost's papers are oh we should just maybe do that okay yeah, frost papers are in this room that's good uh, what's in here? Ooh. Money. I will take. Uh, I will take the, like, the actual food. Like, if there's any, like, cooked food, I'll take. Oh, I just stole the bloody tango. Oh, look at this! Gold cheese! Yes, please, I'll take that. Hell yeah. We'll put that in our, in our cheese room. When we get there. 
uh, an apprentice chest. Oh, we only have three lockpicks left. But Nigo said that he, he had more if we, if we needed any, so. Oh, shit. How am I not able to do this apprentice lock? There we are. Well, that wasn't worth it at all for four septins. Frost identity paper. So, yeah, Frost. The sex of Frost is a stallion, which means he is a boy. Uh, now we just have to steal Frost. But this is the lockbox that Sibby would have given you the key for if you passed the speech check. Um, but I did not. So, no stash for us, I guess. We'll take that. We will be doing some alchemy at some point. I think we're done. Now all we have to do is steal Frost. Um, I am going to quick save it. Um, because I had to do this twice last time. Because um, Frost decided to run away. And then the dialogue decided to skip itself. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm gonna be I'm gonna be a bit careful. There's also bandits up here. See, I've done this so many times. I know where everything is now. But don't worry. We'll we we shall get past the bit where I know where everything is. Uh, I think there are bandits up there. Wait. Am I like seeing things? No. Yeah, there are definitely bandits up there. Just gonna deal with them quickly. Come on, ego. Hello. There we go. All done. Oh, and these two have backpacks as well, so that is helpful. Um, yeah, I'll take that. Huge knapsack. Hell yeah. Uh, I will take your pickaxe. I don't know if I have one. Do I have one? If I have one, I'll get rid of it. Uh, no, I don't have one, so I will keep it. Thank you very much. Take your arrows and the hunting knife as well. Uh, and you... Oh, actually, I would like this one, and I'll give um, Inigo the other one. And shield. I would like to take all this. I can give it to Inigo. What is on your mind? Trade some things I must you. warn you, if you give me a sweet roll, I will make it disappear. <laughs> I swear, Anigo is one of the best followers ever, I think. He's done, he's done so well. Like, the guy, the well, person, I don't know if it was the guy or what, who did it was, is like, a genius. Oh, there we go, we gave him a helmet. Uh, do you have anything else? You can carry the steel plate armor for me if you want, and you go. And the shield. Uh, there we go. Thanks, Let bud. Go. Where's Frost? I've lost... I've lost Frost. Luckily we have a... Where's Frost? Oh, shit. Oh, no, here he is. Alright, come on, then. Okay, let's save again. Okay, where are you, Louis? Don't frick me over now, dialogue. Let's save it again, just in case. There, I prefer that. I much prefer the fur backpack. Somebody help! Why? Ha, you've done it. Got to admit, Somebody I'm not sure you can pull it off. Okay, but you've definitely earned your pay. Uh, I'm going to Maven unless I leave here with Frost. And telling her what? Yeah, that if never you stole works. Stole her horse? I don't think so. Here, Dad, I could keep it. Well, ain't that the truth of it? All right then, let's see what you've got. Help me! Help me! Uh, come back! Get the shit. Get him, card. Uh, an ego. They did not know who they were messing with. No, they didn't, card. An ego. God, I'm terrible. I'm awful. I keep calling him Carjo because I'm so used to having Carjo with me. 
All right, but now Frost is ours. So now we both have a horse. Yay! We can ride around Skyrim together like the friends we are. Excellent. So. Uh, so I have convenient horses installed. So when I jump off, convenient horses is going to start. But I do not want to do the convenient horses stuff. Because it kind of screws, it kind of screwed me over last time. So instead, we're just gonna say I already know everything. You do have to pay five hundred gold though, which kind of sucks. But it gives like your horse a a cool saddle and shit. <laughs> Our tax is trying to trample us apparently. There we go. Because Carjo, uh, oh, Carjo. Inigo is a unique follower. Convenient horses, you should never try and control Inigo with convenient horses. He will break. So it means that you, you, his horse can't get like the cool saddles and shit, but it's okay. Uh, let's ride. Yay, look, now we're, we're on a nice little adventure together. <laughs> so I know that Broken Helm Hollow isn't very big, so we can probably squeeze that in as well before we finish the episode off. This is the problem with the fact that I've like done this quest so many times already. I've I've got I've done Broken Hollow I think five times at this point, for the simple fact that I wasn't happy with the recording quality. That uh, um, and now now that I fixed the recording quality, I've also done it three times, so I it, it's ridiculous. Okay. Uh oh, I think it's up there. One for us, time to do some some Skyrim mountain traveling. There we go. Ah, no, it's just a bear. It's fine. And now that we have convenient horses, we can cool our horse as well. So if we do lose frost, then um, come on, Inigo, Inigo. Fair enough. Oh, no, I don't want Inigo to to wait. Whatever you say. Right. Nico Steve. No, wait. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Come on, that's just up here. There should be two bandits outside, and lo and behold, there is. Yeah. Your turn. No match for us, eh, Car uh, Nigo? My god, I need, to I need to put a big sign in front of me saying his name's... Um, his name's fucking what's it? Inigo, not Cardo. I'll take the hide armor because I need that anyway. Now there are two bandits, the three bandits in here. One of them is a bandit marauder, which is kind of a pain in the ass. Uh, I died about four times when I did this the first time. Some room. Thanks, Inigo. Let's go. So I should also say that Inigo won't be our only companion during this. We're gonna we're, we're gonna have a bunch of people along for the ride to make it a bit more fun. Uh, hello, lads. Wakey, wakey. Oh no, this is the wrong place. This is there. There's no bandit marauder in here. <laughs> this is the wrong place. Okay, Inigo, I'm gonna need your assistance with the bandit chief, please. I'm gonna Inigo, Inigo I'm gonna need your assistance with the bandit chief. Inigo! Inigo, please help. Please help. Inigo! Inigo, please help. Oh, Jesus. You could have helped a little bit sooner, Inigo, really. I've got the iron boots on. Oh, I don't want to take this. It's so heavy. So I won't take it. <laughs> I won't take it. Screw it. I don't need it. I'm sure I'll be able to find a, some iron armor again. It's not like it's the hardest thing in the world to find. Uh, let's just check these banditos. See what stuff they have. Uh, an ebony arrow. A steel mace. Uh, I mean, it's better than ours, so we'll take it. It's better than our sword. It is slower, though, I think. 
I think the maces are the slowest out of the three one-handed weapons, but they do do the most damage. Uh, we'll take this book. Never know if it's going to be required for the museum or not. Uh, I don't really need another iron helmet. A green ninja doll. Okay. And a two-handed book. Uh, and I don't think there's anything else. I'm just going to open this chest. Let's see. Oh, look at that. Pretty. <laughs> Iron Greek sort of chills. I'll take that to disenchant. And uh, Nordic ring of minor conjuration. That's cool. Ooh, robes of conjuration. We'll disenchant all this. We'll just hold bone spirit. Cast a vengeful spirit that hones in on the target and explodes. Holy shit. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, we're gonna use that. Oh dear. Oh my god! Wow, I didn't think that would do as much damage as it did. Holy shit! I almost died an ego. You could have pulled me out of the way or something. Jeez. So, at least we get our restoration up a bit. Alright, I'm getting a tiny bit hungry, so let's let's have oh I'm carrying too much to be able to run, am I? Let's just eat a bunch of bread. There we are. Right. See, I need to I carry I'm carrying so much shit. It's like probably really unnecessary. But I need to get all three things for the museum first before I can like, turn any of them in. And quest items don't um, weigh anything anyway, so it's not like uh, it's not like it's just that, uh, that annoying. The quest items are annoying, but, but yeah, this is what we're here for. Uh, Unbound Fire, we'll take that. We are here for the sixth, sixth house bell hammer. There we are. And, um, poor Leaf Nar. Uh, I'll just take that. I don't need your hat and clothes and stuff. And we can also report Leaf Nar's death to his family, which we will do. Not today, though, because it's kind of a way away. <laughs> Alright, we might, we might as well pick up these um, these mushrooms around here, too. Really? That mushroom took me over? What is on your mind? Right. You want me to lighten your load? Yes, please. Uh, I would like you to carry this. Uh, that doesn't weigh anything, so it's not the end of the world. Uh, what else do I want you to carry? Oh, this. God. Alright, that'll What's do. Next? Come on, then. Now it's bloody raining. Is it raining? No, it's not raining. It's the waterfall that sounds like it's raining. Okay, excellent. He didn't have anything else, did he? No. Okay. Well, do we have a tent? I don't think we do. I don't think we have a tent, do we? No. <laughs> oh, we should have bought a tent. Damn it. We have more money now, though, so we technically could. Um, frost is... Oh, no, there's frost. Okay, excellent. I believe that is the entrance to Spring Canyon, which is where the Dawn Guard is, right? Yeah, it is. That's the Dawn Guard place entrance. Well, now we know. We have a quick way to that. Um, but yeah, I think that is going to do it for this episode. Uh... In the next part, we shall continue doing this. Hopefully, we can get both of these next episode. Although, I'm pretty sure we won't. Because we'll get a carriage to uh, Whiterun to go to the Silent Moon's camp. And then we'll probably ride from there to the Reach. Because I don't want to fast travel everywhere all the time. I feel like that defeats the object. 
but I do need to drop off some stuff. I sometimes so. have a bad memory. Too much skooma back in the day. Forgive me if I sometimes repeat myself. Oh. That's okay, and you go. Um, but yeah, I, I, I don't want to fast travel everywhere because I feel like it defeats the object. Um, the only thing, the only time I will let myself fast travel everywhere is uh, to like the Dragonborn Museum because I'm not riding to solitude every single time. Draw that on, oh, you're that one too. But yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. I upload three days a week and I stream four days a week over on Twitch. All my links are in the description box and they wouldn't see you before. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.